Why did homegirl just lie like this? Hmm. If they wanted to, they could have did. <laughs> Hello, friendos, and welcome to my channel. I am VD, and if this is your first time here, well, hey, girl, you're cute. And if you are a returning subscriber, okay, to the BD Presents channel, what? Good. Okay, it's been so long I almost forgot my intro, okay? <laughs> I hope you're doing well as always and I pray that God is with you and guiding you through. I've had some exceptional life changes which have, you know, kept me away from the channel for a little bit but God is so good and I pray that you are continuing on in your journey and not for just the blessings, right? It's a relationship because that is our Father our creator, our compass in this world. So I pray that you are continuing in your journey, that God is with you, that you seek him because he is always there. And that, you know, like I always say, that you're making sure that you're okay. Taking good care of yourself, okay? Getting those eight hours of sleep, okay? Although women need a little bit more sleep, okay? So try to get those nine to tens, all right? I know it's Hard. When you have a job, when you have school, you might have children, relationships, activities, friendships that you maintain. It's hard, but be grateful for this life, you know, because we are blessed to have so many things that we have to do. So be happy, you know, don't be full of dread for these opportunities that you have in life. Thank God for them. Do all that you can to make sure that you are enjoying your life to the fullest because that is what counts. But make sure that it's walking in accordance with righteousness, okay, and not of the world. But yes, see what happens when you are a subscriber to the BD Presents channel? You get an elevated Yap Style Session <laughs> greeting, okay? And I would like that for all of you, especially if you too are a certified yapper, like myself. I would like that for all of you, but you gotta go ahead and hit that button, okay? It's right underneath the video, you know, unless they misplace it, I haven't been going for a little bit. Right underneath the video, you know, a little red button, and it just lets me know that you're here. A little YouTube doorbell, a little ding dong. Hey, baby girl, just, <laughs> is you here? Like, what's going on? And that way, next time when you see the video, you hear that greeting, you're like, yes, she's talking to me. Now that we got all of that out of the way, chill up, okay? As I mentioned, I have been going for a little bit and you know, I swear, I really tried to hold fall down. I've given y'all content with regard to fall releases, just fall vibe type things. And cause that's my favorite season, okay? I love fall, but it's only so much I can do cause retail has already decided that it's over. Okay, it's over now. We have to worry about winter slash holiday. And you know, I love a new, so I'm <laughs> I'm happy nonetheless, but there have been thousands, okay? <laughs> Literally hundreds of thousands of releases since my last video all for winter holiday. And so I was a little bit of a Mr. Krabs meme. I really didn't know where to jump in. And to be honest with y'all, I'm one of those like of the moment people. So like after a moment or a release, I feel like passes. I don't wanna like dredge it up if I feel like you all are over it. You know what I mean? So there are things that I wanna talk about, but I definitely want you all to let me know if there's a specific release that has come out or is trickling out that you want me to talk about, please leave it in the comments because I will do that for you all. But today I definitely am happy because this release is fresh, okay? And I'm excited about it, especially with regards to this brand because it has been a year for them. <laughs> But I am talking about the newest release from Bath and Body Works, and that is Perfect in Pink. Now, you know I love a good pink number, okay? It is my favorite color, although it's not my lifestyle color. I would say my lifestyle color is gray. 
okay it's a neutral it goes with everything i love it in my fashion my home decor and furniture appliances you name it okay i love gray but pink truly in my heart if i was you know, to live my wildest dreams, I would have like a Barbie style home where everything is pink. But it's just not practical for me. But I love the color. So when I was hearing about this new release from Bath & Body Works, which is a full collection, I was excited, but I was like, mm, with respect to the notes. So let's go ahead and jump into those notes first. Much like Gingham Glow, Vanilla Romance, like this is the intro scent to the next season in my opinion. So this is going to kick off essentially holiday. I guess Platinum also did. I could do a video about Platinum if you guys want it. I did go into the store. I checked it out. So let me know again if that's one of the ones you want to see. Let me know. So the notes again are Vibrant Cherries, Pink, Camellia, and Whipped Almond Cream. So initially based on those notes i wasn't excited i do like cherry but we've had a lot of cherry since this year with sweetheart cherry old cherry and now we have perfect and pink how is this one going to differ pink camellia camellia is a plant it can bloom in different colors so it can come in the color pink and it has typically a very non or light fragrant element, but it can kind of be compared to like jasmine and things like that. So this is going to be a fruity floral in my opinion. I don't know that Bath & Body Works categorizes it like that. They do have this in the Fine Fragrance Mist, in the Eau de Parfum, in the Hand Soap, the Three Wick Candle. It comes in a gorgeous body wash. The bottle is so pretty to me. And a room spray, body cream, body lotion, travel sizes in the mist and lotion, a moisturizing body wash. They also have a travel size body wash, a perfect and pink body scrub. Oh my God. A diamond shimmer mist, the pocket bag, and a mini perfume spray. Okay, so they didn't leave any stones unturned with the exception of the wallflower refill, which I do not see. Now, why did homegirl just lie like this? Somebody left the room. <laughs> Someone said that this was reminiscent to them of Pink Suede. Now, you can't play with me like that. <laughs> if you know, you know around here, you cannot play with Pink Suede and say things like that because you're going to get me hyped. You just can't do that. Like, if it doesn't really, like, nothing to me here with the notes would lead me to think that because there's, like, a cottony vibe, a leathery vibe to pink suede. It doesn't have cherries in it. <laughs> so it's like you can't, you know what I'm saying? But that's okay. It's okay. So the packaging for Perfect in Pink is gorgeous. Different shades of pink with some magenta. Very nice, very nice hot I am living for the packaging, okay? Especially in the tiny items. I think they're so cute. I picked up the hand cream, which has like a purplish pink metallic tube. And then there are pink bows on the packaging. And then I got the travel perfume spray. Now I did smell this in the store, but I'm gonna refresh myself because I don't wanna make a comparison that maybe I shouldn't be making. So let me go ahead and refresh myself. Hmm. Okay, let me spray it on my arm too, just so we can get the body chemistry chemistry, okay? Hmm. All right, so to be honest with you, I get what man was trying to say. Flashback. Why did homegirl just lie like this? Like nothing to me here with the notes would lead me to think that is not pink suede, but there is a deepness here. The reason that it's not pink suede is because of the cherry. It's very prominent. Here, this one is like just true cherry, but not particularly unique at all to me. The almond cream is Jergens, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the <laughs> that smell and like that artificial almond smell that leans very cherry-like, that's here. With the regular cherry note that they have here, it's very nice, it's not syrupy. Um, but the floral aspect is what gives it almost like an edge, like a pink suede's little cousin, not sister. 
cousin. Like they, you could tell they're in the same family, but that, no, you know what I mean? So like I could, I could almost understand. But what would have been dope is if they had did like a, a complete line. Cause it seems like even from the decor that I'm seeing like pieces for winter holiday, it's a pink theme, you know, they're still like doing the Barbie theme. So if they wanted to, they could have did pink velvet cupcake, perfect in pink, pink suede. I would have lost my mind. Okay, like to me that would have eaten as a collection. It would have been a nice little moment for the brand, but what do I know? You know, but this scent again, like it's cool. I like it. If you are a cherry fan, if you enjoyed oh cherry, if you enjoyed uh sweetheart cherry, to me this is better than that. I didn't like the pistachio element of sweetheart cherry. But I really like this as just a true, straight, fruity, not overly sweet, somewhat floral cherry scent. Would I have liked to see them do something else instead of cherry? Yes, that would have been nice. This is very safe. <laughs> and again, not very unique. I do get the reference to pink suede. I will say that again. If you're just a girly girl like me and you like pink and you're sold either way, then you'll probably get it and enjoy. We could have we could have made these stuff out of the box. This is super safe. I feel like Cherry really had its moment last year, but whatever. This is cool. You know what I mean? Love the packaging. I'm definitely going to get the shower gel and probably a body cream because I do have an abundance of sprays that could go with this. So I need like the bases and I think that it, it would go well even with Oh Cherry. It does have a Tonka, so it's a little uh, almost woody, earthy to me, Oh Cherry. A little bit more matured versus this is like fun. I think this is a good all ages type of scent. She's cool, she's cute, but let's, you know, let's see what else is in store for the rest of the season with Bath and Body Works and also Victoria's Secret. She at least has like, you know, 1500 different releases right now and I'm excited about all of them. So again, let me know specifically below in the comments if there's anything that you wanna see and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about Perfect and Pink. Do you like where they went? Do you wish they went in a different direction in terms of the scent? Let me know. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you, okay? Yes, thank you all so much for watching. God bless you. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.